Hey guys, John here, 1984 Barbecue. Today, we're gonna be making up a New York style Reuben on the Blackstone griddle. Here we go. Blackstone good and hot, you can see that. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down a little bit of oil. Actually, there we go. I'm just gonna lay down a little bit of oil over here. You're probably thinking, what are you doing? Well, here's what we're gonna do. I'm doing this my way. So, what we got here, guys, the first ingredient's gonna be sauerkraut, all right? Toss a little sauerkraut down on the Blackstone. I'll kind of warm this, this sauerkraut up, guys, before I make this sandwich. All right, I'm gonna leave that laid long, guys. I'm gonna show you what else we're gonna be uh, doing here. There we go. Got our sauerkraut going. Got uh, I got my local uh, deli butcher, butcher, boar's head pastrami. No, I didn't make my own pastrami, guys. We got boar's head pastrami here. Got a half pound. Got ourselves some uh, rye bread. I know it's not marble. I didn't have any, but we got ourselves some rye bread. I'm gonna toast that up. Got ourselves some deli style Swiss cheese. And we've got ourselves some homemade Russian dressing or Thousand Island dressing. All right, guys. So there's the ingredients. I'll leave it all that below in the description box. All right, let me check on this sauerkraut here. Get it kind of warmed up a little bit. It's gonna take long, guys. Just want to kind of get it warmed up a little bit. All right, bring it right back. All righty. Now what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm going to throw down a little bit. I'm gonna throw this pastrami down on here. Just gonna get it warmed up. That's it. We're not doing anything more than that. Just gonna warm it up just a tad. That over here. Just wanting to get a nice little warm on it, guys. Just warm it up just a tad, just like that. See? I'm not looking for anything more than that. All right. Gonna throw that over here on this side real quick. We're gonna make this bad boy up, you guys. All right. So here we go. We're gonna get our rye bread down. Get it toasting up. I got that going. Now, like I said, I'm not sitting here wanting to cook that. This is on low over here. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn that off. All right. Sauerkraut kind of turning here. It's nice and hot. Starting to get that little bit of a brown color to it. Got our rye bread going. All right. So what we're going to do now, guys, I'm going to check the bottom of this rye bread. Getting there. All right, well, that's toasting up, guys. We're going to get some cheese on here now. I'm going to put a piece of Swiss, another piece of Swiss on there. You make it however you want to make it, guys, all right? I'm going to put a little bit of this pastrami on there, like so. All right, put a little bit on there. I'm gonna take a little bit of this sauerkraut, kind of throw it on here, like so. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little more pastrami, the rest of it, lay it on top, like so. Now we're gonna take and put a little bit, put some Swiss on here like that. All right, now we're gonna take some more sauerkraut. We're gonna get some sauerkraut on here, guys. I know this is a messy cook, but it's gonna look good. Check the bottom of this one. It's got a nice little toast on it. 
crown that bad boy off like so. All right, guys, we're gonna give, try to give this a nice little, check the bottom there on this side. Looking good. All right, guys, now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get this on the cutting board. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that top on this real quick. Forgive me for the flies, they're out here. It's warm. Get our Russian dressing on here. I'm just gonna take that and just liberally give that, yeah, your fly. Just, we're just gonna spread that all over this. Take as much or as little as you want, guys, on there. But I made this like a day in advance, so get that on there like so. Again, forgive me for the flies, guys. It's outside, summertime. Crown that bad boy off. All right, let's do, let's cut into it and see what we got here. Sorry if the camera's moving, guys. Don't mean to. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, guys. You see that? Look at that. Nice. Let me lift that up for you guys so you can see. All right, guys, I'm going to get some thumbnails real quick, and I'll bring you right back. You saw how simple that was, guys. Again, you know, it probably would have been better if I'd have used, made my own pastrami. But in this case, couldn't do it. But we, hey, this thing turned out wonderful. Let me bring it up to you guys. So you can see that. Look at that, guys. Look at that goodness. All right, look at that. I want to give a special thanks to Cooking with Rexy. Um... I never really done one of these before, so I reached out to her and she gave me some good advice on this. So um, I didn't do it quite the way she said to do it, but you know, I added my own little twist to it. So um, up in the i card above will be linked to her channel. If you haven't checked her out, guys, go check out Cooking with Rexy. Great channel, great stuff. Okay, let's take a bite of this, guys. I'm not sure which one I want to take a bite of. We'll just go with this bad boy right here. Guys, I'll get my hand out of the way. Look at that goodness. Y'all ready? Mm, cheers. Mm. Mm. Mm, forgive me. Ah. Guys, ma'am, that is good. That is real good. Wow. Full of flavor. That Russian dressing or Thousand Island dressing that I made. I'll link, leave a link of the ingredients for that in the description box as well. As long as where I got it from. Guys, this is an excellent recipe. If you've never made your own Reuben, I encourage you to do so. Even if you don't do your own pastrami, go to your local uh, deli. See if they have it. You know, this was, I used boar heads uh, pastrami. I used Swiss cheese, deli sauce Swiss cheese. I used sauerkraut, and I used uh, rye bread. Normally, it's marble rye, but they didn't have any, so I just got rye. I toasted it up, guys. Uh, some people use butter. I used mayonnaise on this to toast the bread up. You saw how quick it was, guys. Simple, easy. Anyways, if you like what we're doing here at 1984 Barbecue, hit that thumbs up. Share this video. If you're new to the channel, think about hitting that subscribe button and hitting that bell notification. It lets you know when we uh, let out new videos. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, guys, to subscribe. Anyways, I really appreciate everybody's support. And coming up, guys, and coming up will be a 500 subscriber giveaway, okay? Be looking for that video to come out in the next week or so, all right? Thank you again, guys. God bless. Take care. We'll see you on the next one.